Hello, I'm currently looking into um, using secret detection with a security policy and using a custom rule set for the secret detection. So I'm going to start with a very simple setup. Um, so I will create a new project, call it secret detection, or we can make it public. And I'm going to add a GitLab CI file so we can run a secret detection job. Uh, like this. And this should, yeah, already trigger the secret detection job. So I'm going to commit this. And there should be a pipeline now. All right, there it is. And it also creates a secret detection job. So we are waiting now for this job to be completed. It's already started running. And it's done. Okay, let's go back to the pipeline. And now there is a security tab here, and it would list all the vulnerabilities that it found. And I didn't find any because there is no leaked secret in my project here. Um, if we add something, like let's say um, we are leaking a private key here. So I have an example key here. Let's even call this file private key. And we add private key. The commit message doesn't really matter. Just just so we can see that we added it here. Commit the changes. All right. And now with a new commit, there should be a new pipeline. And I would expect this now to find a vulnerability. All right, reload. And there it is. All right, let's say we want to ignore this private key because for some reason it's okay to have it in the repository. Um, for this, we can add a custom rule set. So this has to live in a um, dot GitLab folder. And oh, thanks for the suggestion. The file name will be secret detection rule set. And to ignore this kind of private key, it would look like this. So we say disable true, and the rule type is git leaks rule ID. I think git leaks rules is like a default set of rules for secret detection. And this is the name of the rule we want to ignore. All right, this should also trigger a new pipeline. And there's no vulnerability because, um, yeah, we ignored one. You might be even able to see it here. Yeah, found one leak, but it ignored it. Ignored it. Um, we can also see that it used our rule set, I think, at least. Um, for this, we have to uh, add a variable here. So um, let's edit this. And the variable is uh, secret detection lock level, and we'll set this to debug. 
Actually, I'm not sure if it's this variable. Maybe it's uh, I found two. So maybe let's also do this. So we can show we see the debug. All right, here it is. So it's you it's using our git leaks. I'm not sure if this is our overwritten one. Because I think our file name was, was slightly different. Yeah. But in any case it used it used our rule because there's no vulnerability around. So um I think we can assume it works. And um, that's just to be sure also, we can check this pipeline and see that there is no vulnerability. Um, so now there is a way to override this rule set from a different project. Uh, let me find this. Yeah, so we can specify a remote configuration file using this variable. And then we have a project path and we can even add a git char or we have a user and authentication if the project isn't public. And here's an example. So this will be the host and then path to, to this project. Um, Yeah, let's give this a try. And I think I tried this before and before it didn't work. So um. I would expect this to, to fail now, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's go through it. So we will create a new project here, or maybe we can even use my existing one. So I have an existing rule set project, which has the same rule set as my other project. And we just going to point to this project. We don't need to point to the um, file specifically. We just have to have the project path from this example. Okay, this is my example project. And let's paste the project path here. This will be the variable. And we don't need HTTP. So that should be okay. Um, the project, the Rusa project is public, so there should shouldn't be an issue with uh, authentication. Let's give it a try. Uh, I think actually, um, this also shouldn't trigger a vulnerability because. Um, I think there was some some section that was saying that a local um rule set, right? This one, a local uh rule set file and the project takes uh precedence precedence over the variable. So it should still be using my local one. And there is no vulnerability. All right, let's delete the local file. Oopsie, I think I just deleted the wrong one. <laughs> okay, let's, let's add it back. Uh, so I'm in the wrong project. I was in the rule set project and not in my test project. Um, all right, no problem. We can just add it back. Uh, 
and there it is. Okay, let's make sure we are in the right project. So that's my secret detection project. And we are going to delete the file here. All right, let's check the pipeline. Okay. And this actually did find a vulnerability, even though it should be using the remote configuration file. And I did one more thing. If I um, if I change this to some project that doesn't exist or some host, like let's let's do this. I think this should also fail because it actually tries to fetch the fetched remote configuration, but it fails. So I think the variable is take taken into account, but somehow it's not used. Right, so now we can see that the job failed. So it couldn't fetch the, the remote configuration file. Um, yeah, it seems like the variable is correct, but and the path also worked because there is no error, but somehow the rule set is ignored. Uh, that's the point where I'm currently stuck. And um, yeah, would like to learn more if there's a way of I'm doing something wrong, or maybe we have a bug. Thanks for watching.